tell me, listen to me real good. I've told you once, I said it a thousand times. You get out of those pagan, satanic, religious, Christian churches. Christians do not follow the commandments of the Bible. Christians do what they want to do. They make up their own laws, their own rules, and their own regulations. Come out of her, my people, and come out from among them. And it's real simple and easy to ascertain who are these people you need to come out from. Easy. Number one, if they keep Sunday, that's an automatic sign that you need to not have any fellowship with these commandment-breaking, wicked deceivers and seducers and bewitchers of the truth. Simple. First of all, number one, Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom to each and every last one of you. Uh, in the sweet presses and strong. And victorious and mighty overcoming king of our soon coming king. And it ain't King David. Absolutely. It's Yahshua Hamashiach, Jesus yeah. Christ. Can you believe, teach, that that false doctrine is still out there? I mean, people be making up stuff all over the place, man. Can you believe it? I can believe it. It's I, nasty. As much as we tore that thing down. Mm -hmm. You remember I did a whole teaching, I think it was about 2016. Tore that thing down. Yeah. Well, we gotta have deceivers and antichrists though, don't we? Yep. Um I'm in here, teacher Shane in here riding shotgun as usual. Um we um hoping to impart some type of wisdom, knowledge and understanding that's gonna benefit y'all's people in the midst of this evil and wicked and perverse generation. We send greetings each and every last one of you. In the sweetest name that I know. Jesus. Can you believe that? A lot of people still get offended over something like that. Can you believe it, man? I mean, they are so profound. When they say, there were no J's. There were no J. Boy, y'all wow. some profound people. Wow. Man. Dang. Man, I tell you, brother. Who are we? Red carpet. Mm. I just, um, I don't know, man. I can't make up my mind. Is it a permission or command? <laughs> I mean, huh? Uh, is it y'all's perfect will or permissive will? You know, all these different cliches they come up with in order to try to trump y'all's word. Uh, educated fools. That's what the book called, you know, educated fools. They're they so wise, they become fools. Oh, yeah. All right. We already got, oh, Eric Howard, $100 super chat. Shalom, shalom. Shabbat shalom, Pastor Dow. Bless you, my brother. Thank you for your offering. Jamal, y'all, $5 super chat. Bless you, Shepherd. Bless all of y'all. Bless you, Brother Steve. Man, I didn't get in touch with you. Brother Steve, I'm going to try to call you and Sister Wynn the first day, okay? Nature knows. $20 super chat. Keep up the great work. Thank you, my brother. I can keep up the great work as long as I continue to keep... Um, you know, receiving support. You know, I looked at our, um, you know, just what it takes uh, in communication mm -hmm. for the ministry. That's not including online, because uh, you know I, I pay another ninety nine dollars. I mean, just just this broadcast right here tonight, you know, and, and what we're using right here is um, like two hundred fifty dollars. No, no, hold on, yeah, somewhere along in there, mm -hmm. and that's that's just for streaming. But I started looking at all of it and uh, putting it all together, man. I, man, I don't even want to mention what it is, what it takes. But at least one thing, at least y'all sends the support to, to get it done. Y'all is faithful and he's good. ZQ Spider, file off Super Chat. Bless you. Thank you, my brother. We um, have had a very interesting week, <laughs> needless to say. Mm -hmm. An extremely interesting week. Um, by the way, is that coming over the broadcast over there too. Mm -hmm. We um, had a very interesting week. Um, okay, Sister Silah. I'm offering the PayPal, sir. Okay, hallelujah. Y'all can send the PayPal. Lord King. Or, friends, though. Yeah, make sure when y'all send offerings to PayPal, y'all send it to friends. And friends and family, okay? Friends and family, please. 
No, I got. I forgot to put my sling up on my gun. Uh, uh oh. Yeah. Uh -oh. Kabir, Kabir was here and he was out here. He was like, "Dang," because I'm shooting it, you know, from this position right here, man, up position. And um, Kabir says, "Dang," passed out, hitting all headshots, unsupported. <laughs> mm -hmm. Jermaine F. West, Shabbat Shalom, Shepherd Teacher, Brother Shane. Shabbat Shalom. And all the straightway leaders from all from straightway Ohio, brothers, brother Jermaine, twenty five dollars super chat. Nicholas Pecoletti, I think I, I, I forgive me if I butchered butcher your name, my brother. Five dollars super chat. Shabbat shalom, Pastor Dow. Blessings. Man, I send blessings each and every last one of you. And we got uh, people giving on cash out. We'll get to y'all too over there. And we appreciate the offerings and let us support. We got a few things. We're gonna have a Melanie. What do you call that when it's a melting pot of a few subjects? A melody, melody or something like that. Not a melody like as in a song or nothing like that. Hodgepodge. Yeah, hodgepodge or what you call it. Digressions, you know what I mean, all this other stuff. Maybe I'll ask some of these educated folks out there who knows that they, there wasn't no J's. You know what I mean, I just, man, they're so profound, maybe they got it. Justin Ray, $20 Super Chat. Blessing, pastor and family loves your ministry and the truth you bring forth. Also bought a new sword in 300 Blackout. Due to the video posted on Rumble. Shalom. Keep bringing the fire. Man, I'm, I'm so happy that y'all have ears to hear. Sister Nicole Gordon, $5 Super Chat, ready to be back. Fellowshipping tomorrow. Bless you. Lord to the King. And then Omar, Northfleet. Shabbat Shalom. Yeah, Brother Omar, man. He's still there trucking and listening. Blessings, Pastor Dow from. North Carolina Saints. Glory to the King. Good to hear from you, my brother. Rebel Charles Beard, Clarely Kodesh. $20 Super Chat. Shabbat Shalom Shepherd from the House of Beard. Brother Dominique Barnett, $10 Super Chat. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Shabbat Shalom, he says. Bless you. Eric Camacho, $50. Super Chat. Bless you, pastor, teacher, and all my family straightway. Shabbat Shalom. You know, I need all y'all to stay strong. Um, and, and whatever you do, if news is coming from any mainstream news source, don't believe it. In any way, shape, fashion, form, just don't believe it. Teach, you want to go ahead and try to uh, put that sling up behind the arm, you know, the, uh, the arm brace back there, man, so that people can, you know, brand new on here, they can see that. There you go. Thank you very much. They can see exactly uh, what we got going on. Somebody asked me, what in the world is all that stuff you got behind you? <laughs> right, it, it's, it's just a shelf, the whole, it's a storage unit, that's all it is. It's no, nothing big deal, just a storage unit, all right? Um, we have a meeting uh, in Virginia, uh, February the 20th. Uh, if you go back into my archives, no more than maybe a week on YouTube, you'll see it there. I'm also post that video <sighs> over on Rumble as well. I'm going to get to all you people that's donating my cash up. I truly, truly do appreciate it. Uh, but, yeah, we're going to be in uh, the Virginia area. You might want to go over there and get some details. Uh, it's coming up fast. As a matter of fact, what, we're two weeks away? Yes. Days of fifth. So. And, boy, that'll come up fast. I promise <laughs> it will come up fast. Uh, so go over there and sign up. Uh, it's a huge meeting room. We have enough room in there to where if you choose to, if people want to socially distance, we can do that. Uh, if you want to wear a mask, you can wear a mask. We also have medical grade masks available for you if you want, if you choose to wear that. Tariq Laia, Elijah, $72, Super Chat. Shalom to you, Pastor, and the Straightway Ministry bless you for your guidance already moving towards community building. Isn't that beautiful, brother? I mean. Hallelujah. All praises to the Most High. Yeah. Hallelujah. Anonymous, $20 super chat. Shabbat Shalom, beloved family. Bless you, Shepherd. In the magnificent name of our Master Jesus Christ, from Brother Steve's household, Clarksville Saints. Glory. Bless y'all. Um, let's see if we could. Uh, got quite a few people over there listening on uh, Facebook. Um, for all you people that are on Facebook, if you choose to. And you want to get in on some uh, chat room conversation and stuff over on my uh, page.
Pastor Dow channel on YouTube. There's about 404 people in there right now that's in the chat room. All right, so where are we at right now? Let me go to Cash App right now and send shout outs to all you wonderful people that are giving. We have Ranger. Airborne Ranger, Airborne Ranger, where did you go? <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm sure you remember that, huh? $50, Super Chat. I mean, uh, Cash App, glory to the king. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm going to put up some all praises hands on all this. Derek, Shabbat Shalom, $5, Cash App, all praises. Bless you, my brother. Darmaine Clark. Bless you, Shepherd Shabbat Shalom. $25 cash out. Man, all the saints, man, these saints, they must love me. You know what I mean? Hallelujah. For without Pastor Straightway, I would not be here today. Well, glory. Put it like this, man. I appreciate the accolades, but truth is, if it wasn't for Jesus, Amen. the Most High Yah opening your understanding, yeah. Yeah. you wouldn't be here today. That's truth. just the truth. That's you just heard the voice. Um, and that's, we're, we're charged messengers, but he is the one that opens our understanding mm -hmm. and all praises to the most high God. And I appreciate, um, you acknowledging the work too. Biko, $52 cash out. Lord to the King, my brother, get you some all praises hands up there too. Natalie Pub Pablo for Shabbat Shalom, $20 cash out. Glory to the King. Uh, Lewis. Shabbat Shalom, Shepherd. Much love and respect. Much love and respect to you, my brother. Ten dollars cash out. Avis Rogers, bless you, Pastor, for your labor of love. Well, thank you. The book says does say fifty dollars cash out. The Bible says that labor should be is worthy of his hire, right? Yes. If, if this ministry, if you're looking at anything from this ministry, and it's benefit you and helping you out in any way of whatsoever of your life, you're charged by the Most High Y'all to give. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. To the place where you're spiritually, soullessly being fed and led in God and growing from grace to grace and mercy to mercy. We're kind of like the modern day priesthood. William Beatty, for Shabbat Shalom, Shepherd Five Dollars, Super Chat, Glory to the King. Batcher, thank you for everything. Yeah, thank you, my brother. Thank you. You're welcome, and thank you for everything. I'm humbled. Mm -hmm. By each and every last one of your offerings and letter of support and everything else, the way y'all give, I do appreciate it. Fourteen dollars forty-eight cent. Hey, I've I've um, come up with another system to be able to for those of you who mail in offerings to the PO box. I come up with another system to be able to make sure that I'm uh, extremely on time uh, as far as getting letters out. Uh, people have no idea. Uh, I bet if I turn sideways, man, I'm probably thinner than a sheet of paper. Huh? Christopher Beaumont, for I pray y'all keeps blessing you straightway, $40. He will as long as we keep having, he keeps sending us saints like y'all that he has opened up his ears. Open up y'all ears, uh, $40 super chat. Christina Rowley, uh, bless you, Pastor Shabbat Shalom. We love you. Love you too. My brothers and sisters, all y'all out there, thank you. $20 cash out. Uh, Christopher Beaumont cash out. Isaiah Davis, bless you, Shepherd Shabbat Shalom. $20 cash out, glory to the king. Glory, 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 glory. And then Alan Hale. Hey, Brother Alan, boy, he did some good teaching that night. $400 cash out. Glory to the king. Hallelujah. All right, let me, uh, let me put that back up. Let me get over here. We're going to spend the you know, first half giving some shout outs here, and we're going to get started in for a second because I like acknowledging people who give. Um, Francis Kimball Wilson, $5 super chat. Praises for the truth you get out to the people. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Mario Murray, $50 super chat. Thanks for suggesting. Uh, that mass deliverance video. I shared it with my family. Who think I'm crazy for leaving my Christian heritage? Tell me you're an Israelite. And while you're telling them you're an Israelite, uh, yes. give them Second Corinthians chapter 11, verse 22. Uh, give them Romans 9, verses 1 through 4. And give them uh, Philippians chapter 3, verse 5. 
so they can understand. And if they don't, who cares? At least you got it. Save yourself from his untoward generation. Isn't that about right, teacher? Amen. Uh, they couldn't deny the power and true anointing. No, no. They, but if they see all that and yet they don't grow in the grace, it's being dropped in their lap. And they, and they don't follow, as you, they're really denying it. Because remember, Yahshua said, Jesus said, He that receiveth you, receiveth me. And he that receiveth me, receiveth him that sent me. It's the Father. Yes. Glory to the King. $50 super chat. Catrice Low, $20 super chat. Thank you, Pastor. Love from my husband and I. Bless y'all both. Oh, hallelujah. Lion's Den. Brother Daniel Mira, one hundred dollars, straightway Goshen from the Saints at Goshen to you and our family love you dearly. One hundred dollars super chat. Oh hallelujah! Glory to the King. Lions Den. I can't s one three three p. Whatever that means. Ten dollars super chat. Thank you for teaching y'all's word. Bless y'all. Super chat. Mike M fifty dollars super chat. I'm gifting uh, you ammo, Chief. Bless you. Well, thank you. Uh. Sister D. Harris, $50 super chat. A blessing you, Shepherd. We love you dearly. From the house of Willie. Brother Willie, Shabbat Shalom. Glory to the King. Chifton Thomas, $100 super chat. Bless you all from here in Mississippi. Thank y'all for listening, Mississippi. Uh, Rib of Charles Beard, Clay Kadesh, $5 super chat. Can you spell... The baby's name for my daughter. She is painting him a picture for when y'all come to DMV. Oh, isn't that nice? Uh oh, what am I? Isn't that nice? Okay, so let me let me get the spelling out here for you. Okay, all right. She wants to know how to spell his name the proper way. All right, I will, my brother Kabir. I will. I truly, truly do it. Okay, the way. That you spell, man, this will be down. Uh, my son's name is Hiskaya, spelled H I Z. H I Z Q I Y A H. You'll find it in the scriptures version spelled like that too. H I, I didn't even know that it was actually spelled like that in the scriptures version. But H I Z. Q I Y A H. And when we're talking to the Gentiles, we just tell them Hezekiah. So H uh, I Z Q I Y A H. Uh, Vanis Montgomery, all praise Most High Yah. $10 super chat. Glory to the King. Gene Fleshour for. Uh, the peanut oil for Passover. Yeah, it is. Every bit of 50 bones. Thank you, my brother. $50 <laughs> cash out. Ashley Aline. Shabbat Shalom. Thank you for your teachings. You're welcome, my sister. $25 cash out. Glory to the king. You are welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, all right, all right. Looks like we're caught up over here with the shout outs and acknowledgments of all those who are wonderfully given to the work of the Most High. Yah. Glory to the king. Tamika Williams, $5. No, $4.44. Thank you for your teachings. I am an Israelite. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's what I'm talking about. She yeah. knows who no. she is now, for no. real. Who you are. Hallelujah. Yeah. When you say you're an Israelite, that means that you are the same thing that Jacob was. Mm -hmm. Is that right? That's right. And Moses, Moses. Joseph. You're in the family. Yeah. You're in the family of Yah. <laughs> we have a whole history written about us yes over there victor a twenty dollars super chat there was a storm here in the west and it went to arizona good to know they're doing well over there getting finances together to prepare for a feast offering twenty dollars super chat bless you brother galen brown fifty dollars super chat okay bless you shepherd getting ready for a beautiful shabbat tomorrow with brother greg coming up from and the saints coming up from Houston. Shabbat Shalom, man. That ought to be a nice one. Bless you, my brother. You and oh, yeah. Ayala. Charles Brown, $10. Super chat. Grateful for your obedience to y'all. Thank you for bringing us the truth. Yeah. Hallelujah. That's what we're here for. Birdman Gangs, $3. Super chat. Bless you, man, y'all. Bless you. Bless you and bless 
you all up. You know what I mean? I'll probably drop this phone, man, you know, 10, 15 times a week. I mean, it's, well, I guess it can't break tradition, yeah. if you know what I mean. This is in a good take case. Yes. Hallelujah. Uh, Straightway Praise Land for Straightway Live. Uh, money received for offerings. Uh, $1,000. $41.44. Thank y'all, Brother Kabir and Straightway Praise Land yes. for running simulcasting a, another channel, which if we didn't have y'all, the Saints wouldn't have been able to follow us last week. You know, when I, when I was in jail. Hallelujah. We should be on three YouTube channels tonight. All right, now, Brother Greg, you know, we had a, a precious sister. Um, you know, Brother Greg, Says Shabbat Shalom, Shepherd. I'm here in Dallas for Sister Faith funeral service. Brother Alex, one month old daughter that passed away. Mm -hmm. Also here for Sabbath to visit the newest saints that has contacted the ministry. Bless you, Brother Greg, for the labor of love. Amen. You know, usually I try my best to get to these things, but when everything started happening yeah. and all this going down, man, I was in another country. And then by the time I got back, yes. after flying 11 hours, you know what I mean, all these hops and everything, man, and when I got in, everything is just piled up. Everybody, you know, when you get it, and, and I just simply didn't have enough time. So it's good to have people in other geographical locations uh, that can fill in. Mm -hmm. You understand what I mean? Uh, and our condolences go out to all the families out there. And we know it's a loss. Um, and you'll never see them again until the king comes, at least not on this side of glory. Uh, but we always remember this. Uh, Precious in the sight of y'all is a death of the saints. Yes. And so if you're in the faith, uh, your children are sanctified. Uh, but when this system, in my opinion, has its hand in on it, I think you should go ahead and, and seek that legal advice and, and give it to a competent lawyer. If they give it to one that won't require uh, a retainer. Because if they take the case, that means they, they know they can win it. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Shannon Brown, $50 Super Chat, Shabbat Shalom, Shepherd, bless you, and Maya Patterson, $25 Super Chat, Shabbat Shalom, Pastor Dow, thank you for much needed truth and guidance in this wicked world, bless you, thank you for your love of the Father, we bless you, glory to the King. So don't forget, everybody, that we're going to be, be the Father's will, in Virginia, DMV, February the 20th, okay, um, glory to the King. Uh, we have Straightway, Georgia. I need to get in contact with Elder Austin and the brethren up there. I need for y'all to meet us, meet up down there, Straightway, Georgia, Easter community down there, because we have that whole back that we've got to clear out what all those raid beds are. Uh, we're going to be doing that on February the 14th. February the 14th. Oh, yeah. <laughs> World Valentine's Day. Me and the brothers will be back at uh, Valentine and to put getting weeds and yes. bushes and stuff out. Uh, brothers and sisters, we're dealing with a very, very serious Jezebel and Delilah, Delilah, Delilah types of females that are still in full force to destroy men. These women in this generation today are literally without natural affection. Can you believe it? Women out there now being coached by Eileen Vigabel Million, a Jezebel if there ever was one, a painted up, used up Jezebel who got to go out there and, and get on dating sites in order to get a man. Can you imagine, man, get going out on a dating site, man? Is your self-esteem that low? Dating sites. You know, you post a, a bio about That's like yourself. scraping, ain't it? Yeah, it is. That's <laughs> scraping the bottom of the bucket. <laughs> ain't nothing on that but beta males. Yeah. Some stupid idiot will we'll swallow her rhetoric. But Jezebel in full force. Skip Doe, $25 super chat. It's about to turn on, Pastor. Brother Mike, $20 super chat. Bless you, Brother Mike. Thank y'all. Thank y'all both. Um... We don't practice in this ministry, uh, so, you know, reverse psychology. Um, and we speak against contrary women and contrary men. Oh, yes. We have a balance. Oh, yes. um, 
we just tell y'all some of the things that are very hurtful that other people just simply don't love you enough to tell you the truth. Um, truth is often an extremely hard pill to swallow. And the reason why it's so hard to swallow, when you've been reared in lies and fairy tales, and then they have posed as the truth all your life, when truth does come, it requires change. And that change is just like bending the bars of a castle. That's how strong your will is. Oh, yeah, especially if you've been uh, formed in lies. Yeah. And, and if you always want to know why we put so much emphasis on obedience to the Most High Yah, yes. why everybody else tell you to be lawless and you don't have to follow the law, Yah. Follow the traffic laws of man in this world, follow the laws of the world, but don't follow the law, Yah. It's just nonsense, it makes no sense. When you go read Romans, third chapter says, for Christ is the gold of the law. Not the end like the wicked translation said. It's the gold. And when people ask you what difference does it make, the stapled hallmark answer is, is for the sake of honoring the truth. That's, the, that's what difference it makes. It's always It always makes the difference. Mm -hmm. For the sake of honor and the truth, non-existent, $5 super chat and Mallory Barin, not $10 super chat. All praise most high. Y'all bless you and your household and thank you for your sacrifices and doing the Father's will and bringing myself and so many the truth. Hey, I appreciate it, brothers and sisters. Um, you know, the way that you go about doing this is, you know, you, you, of course, I know that the book says don't let your own lips praise you, mm -hmm. but another man's. Yes. And, and I get that. I get it. Uh, I also would love for y'all to put in there, first and foremost, all praises to the Most High. Oh, yes. Or, or thank you, Jesus. Yes. And then yes. mention my name on the end of it. Yes. If you yeah, choose to. Yes. Um, I know that you've probably already done that, but we need to do this for the audience out yes. here. Um, because if it wasn't for him, yes. none of us would be here. Somebody that. had to talk to me, <laughs> and he continues to keep on. Yes. Um, and the one that talked to me, I don't even know if they, matter of fact, I knew uh, that they wasn't in the faith any longer. But the, the one that y'all used to, to bring me to the faith, and it was simple. Yes. You need the Holy Spirit, Sergeant Dow. That's all I heard. And next thing you know, boy, yeah. man, yes. something hit my my spirit, man, yeah. and that was it. But, you know, y'all's the one who opened our understanding. We're all, I don't mean to sound negative uh, in any way, shape, fashion, form, but... Let me just give you the scriptures. We differ nothing from servants. And we're all like pawns in this chess game. Uh, but we're powerful because we got the king on our side. Yes. Hallelujah. But it's always for the sake of honoring the truth. Hallelujah. There's my brother. There's my brother. Monkey bastard. $500. Super Eight. chat. Bless you, pastor. Bless you, my brother. Bless you, my brother. Monkey Bassett, you know, if you're going to give like that, man, I do appreciate it, man. You may want to consider giving it to Cash App um, so that um, uh, YouTube don't get all his money. I think they get 30% yeah. on something like that. That's 30% fine. That's a lot of money. But I do appreciate you watching and listening and glad to hear that you're doing well. Doing well. Hallelujah. Glad you're listening and watching. Keep on watching and listening, my brother. Glory to the King. And thank you for your support. But uh, all praise to the Most High Yah in everything that we do. Uh, we must, And his praise shall continue to be in my mouth. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah, all of our mouths. All right. But anytime people ask you what difference does it make, always remember it's always for the sake of honoring the truth. So they think you're just taking this just a little bit too far to the extreme. You can never take obedience to the Most High God too far no. or to the extreme. And I think the one thing that everybody in this culture, American culture, all of us need to realize is that when you read that Bible, when you read the scriptures, you're reading a different culture. Oh, yeah. You're reading so laws, statutes, commandments, yeah. rules, and guidelines yes. that the Most High God has prescribed to his people. Yes. And everyone who wasn't his people that chose to be his people. Oh, you fall up under that same law because the Bible says one law. One law. One law to us, all right? Yes. Um, 
to the Israelites and the homeborn. Yes. Uh, and the stranger. And the stranger. Okay. Yes. So I, I need for everybody to understand that you cannot view the Bible from an American cultural oh, perspective. No, 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 no never. Uh, because I mean, if you look at the people today, with you know, with all these soft and feminine people today, they would call Yah bloody, brutal, and barbaric. You know, even though the word says Yah's love. Yah mean business. He sent his people to war. Yes. Um, and it wasn't bloody and brutal to him. No. You know, the Yah of love. Is that making sense? It wasn't bloody and brutal to him at all. Not when you cleanse it. No, uh uh. <laughs> people don't get it. People just don't get it. But um Again, if you're on Facebook, you may want to come on over to the Pastor Dow channel uh, over on YouTube. Stephen P, ten dollars. Uh, uh, super chat. Let's create a new earth. Y'all's will be done. Well, we ain't gonna create nothing. The Creator's the one's gonna create. Yes, he's the one. Um, he's the one that's the Creator. He's the Wait, Eternal. Shalom, yes. 13 love, <laughs> five dollars super chat. Shabbat Shalom, family. Shabbat family. Glory to the King. So, if people find it hard to believe what we preach and teach here at this ministry, it's really not hard. Either you, either you have a spirit of truth, or you don't. Mm -hmm. I mean, y'all listen to us long enough to know that that we don't echo our own sentiments and opinions. Mm -hmm. We speak the word of y'all. Yes. But if you have any doubts. Your doubts don't lie with us. Your doubts is with the Most High Yah. With Him, yes. I mean, really, Come that's on. just the way it is. Bring I mean, uh, we we can't accept responsibility for your doubts. I mean, uh, it, it does. I mean, it's just the way it is. Um, I often ask people over and over again, "Why does this offend you?" You know, I'm starting to capitalize on that a lot. Jesus asked his disciples. He that? did. He yeah. did teach you over and over again. He would ask his disciples, why does this offend you? Why does this saying offend you? Mm -hmm. What he's trying to do is get us to think. You know, put a defibrillator on our mind. Yes. Think for a second. Why does this offend you? If I say something, ask yourself a question. Why does it offend you? Because it's not my intent to offend, even though offenses are in the world. Mm -hmm. But woe, in the world. by whom <laughs> the offense coming? Yeah, and teach about our point in the world. Yeah. That means world in you. Yes. Brother Abraham and Sister Carrie Walsh, Australia, one hundred fifty nine ninety nine Australian dollars. Sabat Shalom Shepherd from the family here in Australia, just sitting here listening to your words of wisdom. Bless y'all. Love y'all dearly. Abraham. We got our little Shalom. faithful family over there, Brother Abraham and Sister Karen, oh, children yeah. over there and all yeah. the way in Australia. Australia. Glory to the King. Good to hear from y'all. Of course, we know that Brother Tamu, uh, Sister Aya in Finland, they're still yeah. watching, listening. Brother oh, Mike in still England. Very active. Oh, yeah. Brother Mike in England, them, they are. We, yeah, we. Exactly. Brother Juan in, in Colombia. Um, Brother Steve and Sister Wind up in Canada, along with. Um, all the other saints in Canada. Glory to the King. Daniel Camarigo. Five dollars super chat. Shabbat Shalom. Shepherd. Any advice for a single brother looking to get out of the city of Boston and apply your wisdom? What's the first step? Thank you. First of all, number one, if you're a young brother, try your best to find two jobs and, and then divest yourself of debt. Work on debt. But if you want to get out of the city, you don't have to work on debt first. All you got to do is pack your belongings up in the vehicle and head whatever way, hopefully south, uh, if you're in the, in the city of Boston because ain't no Israelites going to be in that wicked city. No. You follow me? And head south. Um, and let the Most High Yah lead you. Uh, make sure you have plenty of money on hand that you can sustain yourself for about a month or two yes. while you're looking to get established. Oh, yeah. That's good wisdom right there, my brother. Hallelujah. And if you're really serious about the ministry, um, then move around one of the communities. 
Oh yeah. And then attend fellowship yes. so you can grow in grace and grow in knowledge. Yes. Because we are a ministry of iron, sharpening of iron. Oh yes. Hallelujah. <laughs> Now, remember I said people's doubts, they rest uh, in the hands, your hands, or in the hands of Yah, not mine. In other words, you're trying to deflect and bring it around, but it's not us, all right? Um, I often ask myself a question, Teacher Shane, over and over again, is, and, and the question goes like this. If people profess that they have the Holy Spirit, all right, and they hold heartily ignore scriptural biblical passages. Are you following me? And if they're confronted by this type of bizarre behavior, and you know my next statement concerning bizarre behavior, right? This bizarre behavior is deeply and collectively embedded in the subconscious of minds of men. And, and it's, I don't think y'all can remove it. I mean, but what is really truly going on? Because as a leader, as a leader, it is my job to raise certain issues. Yes, it's true. Very true. And the problem we're having today is that people don't want to raise issues. No. They don't want you to think. They don't want to offend. They go offend. That's what they call offend. They offend you from truth. Yes. They don't want you to use self-autonomy. We talk about that all the time. Uh, they don't want you, but it's my job. It's my job. I'm, I ain't said it like that. It's my calling. Yes, very good, very good. It's my calling. That's that's yes. like um, a lot of these preachers that Ron Young. Yeah. You could tell that he wasn't called by the Most High Yah. No. I mean, because it's it's obvious. Did he go to the seminary and get a degree and then end up becoming a preacher, or was he called? You see what I mean? Because you know when you're called to this, bro. Yeah. Uh, there ain't no discharge as well. Your cadence is totally different. You're not hired. There you go. You're not going to speak after what the seminary taught you. You're going to speak after what Yah says. Amen. Um, but it's my job to raise certain issues. Yes. Um, and, and that way, the people will be stimulated right here by those issues and start to think. That's what your preachers and teachers in this world didn't want you to ever do. Yeah. It's to start to think for the first time in your life. Now the book says, faith cometh by hearing. Now before we finish the rest of that quote, it says, without faith, it is impossible to please Yah. And he teaches us that now faith is. <laughs> Not tomorrow. Not yesterday or here and now. It's always now present. faith always is. Present. Yes. And faith. Faith is the hus is the sustenance of things hoped for yeah. and the evidence of things not seen. That's what it is. Yes. So faith coming by hearing. Hearing comes by the word of Yah. How can they hear without a preacher? See, a lot of times when people get offended, you think you're getting offended at me. But the truth is, the same animosity, the negative attitude, the lip, all this opposition that you're having with me, it's really not personally against me. It's really against him. Because mm -hmm. I'm a representative as an ambassador yes. on this earth. I'm a stranger and pilgrim in a foreign oh, land. Oh, yes. We're just passing through. I, we're in exile to Yah because we're here on this earth. Yes. And one day we're going home. Oh, definitely. Yes. But the Bible clearly says you can't hear without a preacher. Now, you look at these preachers today where everybody in the world accepts them. Mm -hmm. But the book says that all those who live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer, suffer persecution. persecution. Jesus, yes. the greatest preacher ever lived. Yes. What did, what did the what religious people in the world do to him? They killed him. They killed him. Yeah. What do you think that they would do to Jesus today? Do you think Jesus would, would, would actually openly accept homosexuality would he quote the Torah? Oh, he would condemn it. To oh, he the would tear it all to hell, yes. wouldn't he? Mm -hmm. 
Yes, he would. And they would, they wouldn't hang them on a the tree. They put them in a lecture chair. Oh yeah. And then all the churches would have lecture chairs hanging on the back of their wall instead of crosses. Now you think about it. I mean, Moses told us that when you're departed from him, that you will you will bow down to wood and stone. And many of you go to these churches, you got these wooden crosses hanging up high on the wall, and you're bowing down in service thinking you're bowing down to Yah, but you're really bowing down in front of that cross that's in front of you. The deception is real. Very real. We're just here trying to raise certain issues to stimulate thought. So how can he hear without a preacher, and how can he preach except he'd be sent? Mm -hmm. Yah's the one who sent us. So self-autonomy helps a person to exercise independent thinking. Because you know just as well as I do, many of us ain't never had one original thought. Mm -hmm. We function after whatever thoughts come to our mind. Isn't that amazing? Mm -hmm. Rather than us thinking on these things yes. and then letting the Holy Spirit build on that, yes. we, we usually think on what has come to our mind. You ain't really thinking. You didn't, that, that was something that inserted that thought. If self-autonomy leads to independent thinking, all right, independent thinking will lead to the pursuit of happiness. Mm. And then the pursuit of happiness will lead you to freedom and self-determination. And once you have self-determination, you'll have a drive inside of you that can't nobody quench or nobody put out. Oh, you talking about hope, huh? Oh, yeah, man. Come on. That's what we got. Hope. Hope, the substance of things... Yeah. Faith, the substance of the thing hoped for. You better believe it. <laughs> um, we just got to get this, you know, and, and I think the, the problem is, yes. even more so in the challenges that upcome in this generation right here, is that, I mean, you make a grave mistake when you're trying to read the Bible from an American cultural perspective. As a matter of fact, from any cultural perspective in this time, if you're going to understand what the Bible says, you need to go back into the time frame that it was written, i.e., um, you know, it was written in Hebrew and Kone Greek. And when you look behind these words, you'll find out that a lot of words that are presented in English changes the whole entire meaning oh, yes. of the text. Yes. Um, so if you read it right from the uh, the scripture perspective, you'll find out um, that Yah is good. But if you go read in the law of Yah, this culture right here would have you to think that he's brutal and barbaric um, and and just a a bloody a bloody Elohim. Let's hit Numbers 31, verse 15 first. I'll tell you what, before we get there, go to Ecclesiastes. Um, and not a Cle not in Apocrypha, but Ecclesiastes chapter 7, uh, verse 28. We got to get this out of the way real quick because there's no such thing as a woman preacher and a damn soul showing no such thing as a woman co-pastor. While teachers getting there, we're going to send a couple of shout outs. Victor, hey. $10 super chat when listening to the Sabbath message with the area on spiritual money changers covered in the Gospels. How deep does spiritual currency go? Well, in other words, when you're listening to me, you're investing in your spiritual currency. Amanda Danielle, $50 super chat. Hallelujah. Thank you for continued obedience and example. Uh, you're an awesome leader. Bless your house. Thank you, my sister. I received that. And thank you for your offering letters and your support here. $50 super chat. Keep watching. Keep listening. All of you out there, okay? Hallelujah. Um, now, what I'm getting ready to do, teacher's getting ready to read you Ecclesiastes 7, verse 28. And always remember, you... You know, we have to read scriptures a little bit before and after for the sake of time. 
Um, so we can only cover certain passages of scriptures or sometimes just a text of scripture. And, and what you need to do is you need to actually listen. And when you hear this being read, don't, don't start throwing stones at teacher Shane. He's just reading the word. Just reading. And if you get mad and upset, it ain't him you getting mad at. If you hear me repeating it and, and, and you're not getting mad, get, listen, you getting mad at the Most High Yah because this is his word. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Then he say, I am Yahweh your Elohim and I change not, therefore you sons of Jacob are not consumed. We love you enough to tell you the truth. Matter of fact, one of our greatest strengths is, is not giving a damn about what the world thinks. Yes. I mean, that's our, that's always been a straightway trait. Our I mean, it's just been a trait like, I mean, unbelievable. Oh, yeah. Thank you, love. So, teach, go ahead and hit that. Ecclesiastes 7, 28. Read that. Can I myself. start in context? I'm going to start at verse 25, if that's all right. Yeah, go ahead. Verse 25, go ahead. I applied mine heart to know. And uh -oh, to search. Oh, you know, we got to start. Look, listen. <laughs> just, that, just that in itself. I apply my heart to know. Before many of you make judgments, before you start being critical and critiquing what's said, how many times have you ever really truly set yourself apart, set yourself aside, and apply your heart to know. I just got finished telling teacher Shane. I said man all this week. You know what I've been doing in my spare time when I get it. And I've been studying the Targums. Mm -hmm. somebody, yes, sir. somebody said what the what? The Targums. The Targums yes. What is that pastor? That I'll explain to you later. I'll explain to you. But I'll show it to you too. You won't see it. I got a, another whole set in too. Studying the Targums. Getting some, some true history here. Stone's edition. Um, and, and you know what I'm doing, right? I'm going and getting even more concrete evidence mm -hmm. about what you know to help hopefully deliver some people that this this King David false doctrine is this come up here. Uh it's not it. It's not it. You understand what I mean? And I've got first century history right here to back me up. But go ahead, teach. I applied my heart to know mm -hmm. and to search and to seek out wisdom. Yeah. And the reason of things. Okay. And to know the wickedness of folly. Now, but notice he, he, he applied himself, though. Yes. Come on. Even of foolishness and madness. Mm. And then it goes a semicolon, goes to an explanation. What is that? And I find more bitter than death the woman. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. And I'm going to say this again for an addendum. Mm -hmm. Okay? A bib, a bib, a bib, a bib, a bib. The other day I was on live. Yes. And I did a whole live feed about woman. And a lot of a lot of people, a lot of women, I'm gonna say a lot of females, got offended. And I, they didn't hear that I said, you know, the ones that are striving for righteousness, mm -hmm, and the ones who want to be holy, and good daughters of Sarah, you know what I mean, daughters of Zion, mm -hmm. they didn't get offended at all. If you got offended, that's letting you know you got some work to do. Yes. What is this arrogancy and the audacity? And this unmitigated gall to sit there and think you have some type of right to get mad at the Most High Yah and His Word. Why well, ain't mad at y'all? I'm mad at you. I'm telling you, mad at y'all because all I did was just preach the Word. All I did was read the Scriptures. You offended at Him. If the book is trying to tell you something about yourself, being a weaker vessel, because remember, of you women. That was the beginning of sin. 
You better pay attention, take heed, and agree with it quickly so you can be delivered. But read on. And I find more bitter than death the woman whose heart is snares and nets mm. and her hands is bands. Whoso pleases Yah shall escape from her. If a man pleases Yah and he has a woman that's trying to snare him and entrap him, what do y'all say you're going to do? You're going to escape from her. A man will escape from her. Kabir escaped from one of the most wicked, deceitful, Jezebelic, whorish women that has probably ever lived in this generation. I said one of them. Because she got some stiff competition. Um, and Kabir is so happy. I've never seen that brother so happy in all my life. He is so happy. Got a beautiful son. Oh, yeah. Little yourself packing on. Beautiful wife, yes. man, and, and beautiful community. Yes. Um, I, I want that community to get behind him and support him more and, yes. and stop getting on his nerves. Yes. Start using some thinking. Read on. But the sinner shall be taken by her. So, hey, don't that remind you of what the Bible says in Ecclesiasticus, chapter 25, that a wicked woman is the portion of a wicked man. See, a sinner will be taken by a wicked woman. Yes. And what is that saying about you, man? That's saying there's something in you that's deceived. Come on. Behold, this have I found, saith the preacher. Well, what did you find, preacher? Counting one by one. Boy, he's taking it slow, ain't he? Yes. He counting one by one. Let, let's see what he says. Let's see what he says. Come on. To find out the account. What do you find out in this account right here? Which yet my soul seeketh, but I find not. One man among a thousand have I found. One man among a thousand has he found. That's, that's what the preacher said, right? Mm -hmm. The preacher said one man among a thousand. That's what he said, right? Uh -huh. One man among a thousand. All right, let's see what else he said. But a woman. But a what? A woman. A woman. Among all those. Among all those. Have I not found. He can't even find a woman. So all you women out there that's got this high lofty opinion of yourself, you're good, you're righteous, you're holy, you're sweet, you're kind, bullshit. You're a liar. You are what the book says you are. And the only good that any of us have in us is Jesus if he's in us. Yes. Other than that, we ain't no good. No. And if you're just as good as any man, woman, you ain't no damn good because a man ain't no damn good either. Eric Howard, $50 Super Track. Truth. Yeah, man, straight up. Yes. When you I know. see a woman, I keep trying to tell y'all, see, I think what they got offended at more than anything was this. Listen to me, all of you out there. If you see a woman that wears makeup, and have weave in her hair. And has these long eyelashes. And paint her eyes. Paint her face. That is a witch. That is a Jezebel deceitful witch. Yes. She is trying to use trickery and cunning devices. That Jezebel used to paint her face. Much deception. Israelite women didn't do that. You, you're not going to go to the well and gather water. And then be painting your face in the desert. No. We just didn't. I bought women didn't wear makeup. No. That's some, some, some type of Jezebelic stuff. And, and what they're doing is deceiving you. Yes. Because I showed you pictures of these heinous <laughs> creatures. Yes. You sitting up there thinking that you got you a 10. Woman look like Bo Derek. And Holly Berry. Jennifer Aniston. You think you got 10. And boy, you get, I, I'm trying to tell y'all something. If you ever meet a woman, you tell her, take that damn face off. Take that make makeup off. Cloak off, yeah. <laughs> take that damn cloak and that witch of a deception yeah. off so you can see the real deal. Yeah. Because you about to mess yourself up. Mm -hmm. That woman probably look like a damn orangutan. Minus 15. Or a bamboo. <laughs> Ooh. 
Again, we see our sisters in their pure form. Yes. So beautiful they are. I sit back and look at all our sisters, man. I ain't seen an ugly one yet. They look so beautiful. Because they just, they, they natural. Yeah, we can love them by their spirit. Yeah. Yes. A, a woman of a meek and quiet spirit. Yes. The sight of y'all is a great Pray. price. So I'm telling y'all dealing with witches. Straight up witches. Take that shit off. So let's get to this barbaric most high. Bar McBar. 3115. For all you out there, that's numbers 3115. Bar McBar. We're going to read verse 18. I want y'all, let's go visit. Yahweh Elohim. And let's see what he said to Moses. And then Moses said to them, read on. And Moses said unto them. Go ahead. Have you saved all the women alive? Stop. They're in a wartime situation. Are you hearing me? A wartime situation. And most of you are not going to like the most high. Some of you probably going to cut off this broadcast and, and be willing to go run through hell with gasoline draws after you hear the mind of Yah from the custodian of the law, Moshe. He's checking Israel and he's saying something. Read on. Behold, these caused the children of Israel through the council of Balaam to commit trespass against the master in the matter of Peor. Now, wait a minute. How many of y'all wives out there are still trying to teach y'all to trespass against the Most High Yah by giving glory and accolades to some fat-ass white man by the name of damn Santa Claus, teaching him to transgress? You go out there and work all year long for your hard-earned money and stuff, and you want to give the glory to some damn demon. Some fictitious made up being. Mm. And then they continue on with the lies. That if you stop celebrating Easter with yeah. an unclean rabbit. Yeah. Unclean. Like the Most High Y'all is going to use an unclean rabbit to celebrate a holiday. Yeah. There's a difference between holidays and holy days. Y'all celebrate holidays. We celebrate holy, holy days. days. Yes. Set apart appointments. More deems. At the Moad. Pointed times. And you got an unclean rabbit that lays eggs. Easter Sunday morning. Sunrise service. Where people clearly turn their backs towards the temple. They do it up here. Yes. And they worship the sun. They play songs. Yes. Mm -hmm. They play. I tell you what. I'm going to take a break. Just for a second, I'll be right back here in just a second, all right? Let's hear mailing address if you choose to support us, which we hope you do, and become part of us. Because we are the remnant, the last bastion of holiness in this world. Shalom, this is Sister Wenda. I hope that all of you are enjoying the broadcast that you're listening to right now. We appreciate each and every last one of you, our faithful listeners and supporters of the Straightway Truth radio broadcast. We try to make sure that we do our due diligence and do our best to ensure that you have the best broadcast as well as the truth coming to you in the hour that we're living in right now. If you would like to help us in this endeavor, your offering will be greatly appreciated in the work of the Ministry of the Most High Yah. Our mailing address for your gift, offering, or letter of support is Charles Dowell, Jr. That's Charles Dowell, Jr. And Dowell is spelled D-O-W-E-L-L. -L. 506 Ellington Drive. Ellington is spelled E-L-L-I-N-G-T-O-N. P-O Box 32 Lafayette, Tennessee, 
And Lafayette is spelled L-A-F-A-Y-E-T-T-E-37083. Again, our mailing address is Charles Dowell, Jr., 506 Ellington Drive, P.O. Box 32, Lafayette, Tennessee, 37083. If you would like to contact us by way of phone, the country code is 1, area code 615-688-3025. That's 1-615-688-3025. You may leave a message there, and be the Father's will, we will do whatever we can to try to return your message. It is our hope and our prayer that as you continue to listen to the Straightway Truth Ministry, and as you apply the teachings of this ministry, that you are finding peace and growth within you, your family, and life as well. Please tell others, so that the truth may also have an impact and touch others' lives, so that they may enjoy the benefits of the truth of Jesus Christ, just like we all are. Shalom, the King is coming. Can you imagine this? Listen this. Oh, oh, oh. Now, could you imagine somebody sitting... I mean, standing at the back of the door of a tabernacle, face towards the east, with their backs towards the temple, and playing songs of Zion and worshiping the sun, S U N, as it comes up. Can you imagine that? And I'm telling you, I've seen it with my own eyes. It's an abomination. They're doing it. And you got women today, you got a man that will come to the knowledge of the truth. And these women will want to hold on to these pagan holidays, teaching people to prostitute themselves against the Most High God. Get mad as hell. If a man chooses to keep the commandments, over fairy tales. That's the same thing going on right here. Yes. Women that teach you to trespass against the Most High Yah. Read on, teacher. Watch this. And when they teach you to trespass, then you wonder why you're sick as hell. You wonder why it's plagues all amongst you. Can't figure out why all these damn diseases be taking you out. Read on. And there was a plague... Mm -hmm. Among the congregation mm -hmm. of God. Mm -hmm. Now, therefore, kill every male among the little ones. Whoa, 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 whoa. Y'all said kill what? Every male. Among what? Among the little ones. Somebody say children. Somebody say children. Yeah, that's right. Our God, our Yah, our Elohim. Our mighty one instructed Moses to tell the children of Israel, when you go into these wicked pagan nations like this, number one, you start with killing all their babies, the males. What is the reason why Yah want Israel to kill the males and not the females? 
You see, if you're a real man, you'll know how to rule your house. Mm -hmm. And if you're taking a slave of, the, of another nation, which is lawful, mm -hmm. they're going to go as you would have them to go. Yes. And if they don't, y'all got instructions for that too. Mm -hmm. Now, mind you, this is Yahweh Elohim. Who changed not. Therefore your sons of Jacob are not I consumed. Assume. Mind you. He don't change. That's the same y'all that said. I will not alter. Or change anything. Psalms 89. Which have gone out, out of my God. lips. Mm -hmm. In other words. He don't care about what your perspective is. Or what your outlook is. Y'all have spoken. Yes. It's already established. <laughs> and guess what Jesus Christ is going to do when he come back? He's going to kill a lot of people. That includes yeah. babies. Oh, Other yes. nations. Yes. Sure hell's going to go away. So much blood. The book says in Hazum is going to be up to the horse's bridle. That's a river of blood. That's a lot of blood. That's a lot of blood. A lot of blood. That means billions of people got to be killed to yes. get that kind of blood. You hear me? Billions. Yes. It's most of you, you can sit there and try to figure out all you want and say it ain't true. If the word says that it's gonna, blood is going to run up to the horse's bridle, damn it, you better believe that's what's getting ready to happen. Read on, teacher. See, that's what I keep saying. There's a contrast. There's a conflict. There's a difference between our culture and our... You better know him. Mm -hmm. And that's what's the problem today is that people, they don't know the real, true creator universe, the eternal. They know this fairy tale that's been preached to them. And then when you hear us talking about the real, true creator universe, you get offended because it doesn't fit that damn lying fairy tale they done gave you. Mm -hmm. Am I telling the truth, teacher? Telling the truth. Come on with it. And kill every woman that hath known man by lying with him. You hear that? And then when you go into these nations, not only do you kill the male children, but you kill every single woman that has ever laid with a man. Ain't that what it just said? Mm -hmm. Every single woman has laid with a man. Guess what? That wipes out 99.9% .9 of American women. Oh, yes. Yeah, it is. You, you gone. You know the reason why? Because y'all want, when an Israelite goes into a woman, he wants that woman to be pure. So she can rear and raise his seed. Pure seed, yes. You hear that? Yes. He wants an Israelite to be able to insert his seed into a, a, a good, clean, pure incubator. Read that again. Now therefore, kill every male among the little ones, and kill every woman that hath no man by lying with him. Come on. But all the women, children. Uh-oh. But all the women what? Children. What? That have not known a man by lying with him, keep alive for yourselves. So, and every virgin and the children... That has never known man. You know what they are? It said keep alive for yourself. In other words. They are part of your reward. They are part of your booty for war. That means you're going to bring them on into your house. So much for monogamy again. Here we go. Watch this. Let's go to Dabarim 21. We're going to talk about marrying female captives. I'm trying to I'm trying to show y'all that what the world teaches about the creator universe and all this love dripping off popsicle sticks. He loved, but he ain't loved the way you think it is. Dabarine 21 verse 10 through 14 teach. Deuteronomy? Deuteronomy. Listen, oh, it, hold on. Can I get somebody in the chat room to type in um, 
a number one if you're really truly listening if you're really truly listening while you're doing that i'll send a shout out because because man we preaching and teaching here tonight you better believe it is uh let's give a couple of shout outs here man we got <clears throat> victor a ten dollars Super chat. I might have the same guitar. Lord your king. I'll tell you what. It wasn't cheap. <laughs> Jamaica Caesar. $5 super chat. Thank you, my brother. Jaran Gordon. $10 super chat. Shabbat Shalom, pastor. Out on the road watching, speaking nothing but truth. Blessing your household. Praise to the most high. You see, what myself and teachers trying to do is, is, is we're trying our best to, like we said earlier, we're trying to put a defibrillate on your mind so that you don't have this picture painted of the way you think Yah is. Mm -hmm. Because when you see him come, he's not going to be the way that American fairy tale has done taught no, y'all. Or American no, Christianity. No y'all need to know him. Yeah. Yes. Y'all really truly need to know him. Yah is a man of oh. war. Yah is also love. It's yes, a great he balance. He is love. But you have been lied to. Oh, yes, to the utmost. And that's the reason why there's no humility in any of you out there. Very little, if any. Because you don't know him. We're trying to introduce you to him. Yes. Behold the goodness and the severity. <laughs> that y'all is a balance. Yes. Y'all say, I kill and I make alive. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> perfect. And your family, they don't care to know about this yacht. They want to know fairy tales. And that's and the sole purpose of all this is, is because they have lost the fear of y'all from before their eyes. That's the reason why they don't want to hear it. Well, now, don't worry about it going to hear it, but they're going to hear the crackling of that damn fire. As you kindle it, inhale. And inhale, you're going to lift up your eyes. Not because of your sin, iniquity, and transgression, but because you rejected it, your salvation. Yeah. For every sin and every transgression, there's a just Plus, recompense of reward. reward. There's a payment. Yes. There's a literal payment. And we're trying to lay this thing to the line for you. We're trying to make this thing so easy that even a child can understand. Simplicity of Christ. Yes. Do not lose the fear of Yah. Amen. So therefore, knowing the terror of Yah, will we persuade men. So listen to us very closely. We, we unapologetically Read and teach and preach this word. Y'all hearing me? We getting down. Amen. Listen. Read on, teach. When thou goest forth to war against thine enemies. Against your what? Thine enemies. Let's see what Yahweh has to say. And Yahweh thy Elohim hath delivered them into thine hands. You're going to war against your enemies. America make you think you ain't got no enemies. But you got enemies. You go to war against them. And he's delivered them into your Hands, who your enemies, right? Mm -hmm. Not your friends, no, your not enemies. your kin folks, no. not your colleagues. No, no, you follow me. And there are a lot of people that are enemies to the faith. Mm -hmm. Read on. And you have taken them captive. So, it was common amongst us that we went to war. The booty of war is when we would take people captive and make them our slaves. Because slavery is not a, a nothing new. It's just that there are regulations in the book about how far you go with slavery. Yes, there is. But slavery is, is, is a righteous institution that Yah has ordained from the beginning with the Israelites. Mm -hmm. he, he's laying it out right here. Read on. And see us among the captives a beautiful woman. Now, wait a minute. He didn't say that you can soak with your wife to see if... Uh, if there's a beautiful woman that you can take or, or not take. See, these were men back then. 
they let them hang. And these were men of war. They went to war. They looked out among the cabs and go, look at that. There's a beautiful woman right there. What did, you, what did the law say? And have a desire unto her. In other words, you would look at her and go, man, whoo, boy, 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 I love to have some of that. No, we just being frank here tonight, right? We're being real. Man, I'm love to have some of that. See, now, they would have you to think that there's something wrong with that type of thought pattern. Not according to Torah. Read on. That you would have her to wife. Oh, you would have her to wife. What about your wife at home? No, but you would have her to wife. Her See, Christianity would dress this up and tell you that this is somebody you went to war with and you discovered and you would already you would get her to get married. So you was already single, but you wasn't married. Bullshit. Read on. Then thou shalt bring her home. You bring her what? Bring her home. Bring her home. That means you're already establishing you have a homestead. Come on. To your house. Mm-mm, mm-mm. To who house? Your house. Mama house. Your house. Daddy house. Your house. Your house. Your house. Read on. And she shall shave her head. She gonna do what? Shave her head. Shave her head. Let's see how much desire you got for her after she shave her head. Mm -hmm. Come on. And pare her nails. That means you gonna cut off them damn fangs. What's one of the greatest vanities in America today? Fake ass glued on nails. All kind of damn net. Ain't nothing real today. Every damn thing is fake. Fake, false, and phony. And you want a man to be real with your ass. When you fake from head to damn toe. True. They, they, they got damn nails way out here and stuff. Just And the Bible pair means we're going to cut your damn. Your, in other words, the woman's hands going to look like mine and brother's hands. Just like this. How in the hell can you be a man and have some long ass damn nails? I can tell you one damn thing, you ain't working. Bro, say, look, look at these damn damn hands right here. Look like them side. Look at this. Look at these damn hands. Look, look, look at these damn hands right here. Bro, say, come put your hands up here, man. So y'all can see what a man's hands. We ain't got no damn long ass fingernails. Oh, my nails are full of put, 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 put them up there, man. Put them in there. Look at that. Probably done dropped a damn hammer on it or something like that. Look, just rough as I don't know what. It, and you got men out there got damn nails longer than damn women. Y'all need to start questioning men that got long fingernails. Because the type of work we do. Man, what would happen to our damn, man? We would rip our damn nails out of our sockets if we, we was out there. To... I'm just saying. I'm just here to make you think. But, but anyway, you're going to, sh she shave her head, you're going to cut her nails off, read on. And she shall put the raiment of her captivity from off her, and shall remain in thine house. And bewail her father and her mother a full month. You know, I, I would think the honorable thing for you to do is, is after you done taken her captive, just change her garments. Give her a garment of, of, of white. You know, you people got it all backwards. All black. And um, just just leave her alone. Let her bewail her family. Give her a, a full moon. A cycle of the moon. Is that, is that good, teacher? Yes, sir. Right. Get a cycle of the moon. Come on. And after that, after that, do what? Thou shalt go in unto her. What does that mean when it says you shall go into her? Lay with her. You're going to have sex with her. Sex, yeah. After a full month. Now, the Most High is telling us this to do this when you get a, a woman from war. Mm -hmm. You wait a month. I can't get some of you assholes to wait a few days. Burn it. I'm sorry. I'm not TD Snakes. This is real talk. Welcome to the University of the Painful Truth. Class is in session. You're here with Professor Pastor Down, Professor Teacher Shane. 
and we're here to make your ass think. Now, go ahead and have trouble and have problem written with this because, see, these scriptures will hurt you and your opinion and mindset. These scriptures will hurt you. And y'all didn't consult me or you Amen. when he wrote this, had Moses write this Torah. This is the revealed mind of Yah. Now go ahead and have all the damn problems you want with it. You're going to answer for it too. If you if you so happy, you so prideful and arrogant, you ain't, you ain't going to make it to the kingdom. I mean. I'd be damned if I'm going to sit up here and let somebody that sit up here claiming that they listen to me, you're going to question Yah and his intent. It's Amen. damn clear and plain. I mean. And you got issue and trouble with it? the hell's wrong with you? Read on. Thou shalt go in unto her and be her husband. Be her. Uh, she gonna be a concubine. Husband. Side chick. She gonna be her husband. Jump off. And be her husband. Trick. And she shall be thy wife. You hear that? She don't get the status of concubine. Side trick, knock off, jump off, trick. Book said wife. Wife. But watch this. Read on. And it shall be, if thou have no delight in her. In other words, you go unto her, she don't please you. Now, now see, that's where the barbaric comes in. You get that? They levy charges against the Most High Young, call him barbaric. And some of you women out there, y'all women, I'm telling y'all, they gonna y'all gonna be getting so in love with these damn women, they're gonna send y'all ass to hell right behind them. Mm -hmm. Because you may have balls between your dang legs, but you ain't got no balls concerning her. She done castrated you. You ain't no man. You ain't no man at all. That man right there, that's a man. And we ain't going to go into deep discussion about it. That's a man. But most of he's going to bless him with a, 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 an obedient. It's shy. That's coming. Not none of these damn wicked ass Jezebel. Uh -uh. You ain't, matter of fact, you're not even going to fly under the radar. Read on. Then thou shall let her go. Whether she will. But thou shalt not sell her at all for money. So, if she don't please you, you let her go as will, but you don't sell her for money. Come on. You shall not make <clears throat> merchandise of her. You ain't making merchandise of her. Now, why is all this going on? Because she's not an Israelite. This is a woman you're taking from captivity. Mm -hmm. Tell monogamous preacher to explain this shit. I got books up here by them Rush Dooney and all their ass, man. I would rip their ass up. Them playing mental gymnastics and, and twisting and warping words. Mm -hmm. And in today's philosophy, today's. Uh, we would have to look at the text. And we would have to discern to see if this is either a command or a permission that separates the two. This is how these butt wipes talk today. Now that was then and this is now. Is this, is this y'all uh, a perfect will or permissive will? You damn, don't get me started. See the best way to handle somebody like that is, is a knife. Don't that's that's the best way. Yeah, that's the best way. Because it's cancerous. Yeah. Read on, teach. Because thou hast humbled her. If a man have two wives. No, hold on. That's good. We're not going to go in that one, but we good right there. So. So, sick philosophy. A wicked religious man doing violence 
to the text is what I just got finished mockingly yes, portraying. But the word don't change. It's forever settled in heaven. No, it's pure seed. Is that right? Yeah. Now, we're going to hit another one here. Because it's obvious that Teacher Shane and I, we have gross. Damn good pilsner. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, this is the um, beer of the ministry. Um, go to Esther 817. We're going to talk about strong drink and banqueting. Because a lot of people seem to take issue with us drinking beer. Right here. See it? Tastes pretty damn good, too. Let's um, see what the book says. We're going to show y'all something. Yeah, butt wipes. You got that right. Esther 8.17. Why am I going here? We already know the history, right? But there's a key word in here. See, because modern day Christianity would tell you, and they will go and pick out all the scriptures that has to do with wine is a mocker, strong and drink. Be not deceived by a color, because whosoever deceived thereby is not wise. Are you following me? They will tell you all that. Be not drunk with wine where is in excess, but be filled with the Spirit. Are you following me? And what they'll do, they'll turn around and try to take all these so-called scriptures that they got. And they'll try to condemn what is our culture and heritage. So, here is Esther yes. being used to deliver Israel from damn Haman. Mordecai gets exalted. Mm -hmm. Teacher, read this. This is, listen, strong drink and banqueting. And because I know a lot of times when people see us when we make the compilations that y'all make, mm -hmm. y'all see us, we be having a good time. Oh, don't yes. we? Man, we be, have, we be going in. We be having a good time. Man, we have a good time at these feasts. Yes, we celebrate life. We celebrate like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> yes. We go in. Yes. And man, we go to bed sometime one or two o'clock in the morning, wake up and be tired the whole day and do it again do all it over again. again. Yes. Seven, eight days. Yes. Celebration. Christians would tell us we lost. Based on who opinion. Mm -hmm. Read on teach. And in every province. Uh-huh. And in every city. Come on. Whithersoever the king's commandment and his decree came, come on. The Huding had joy and gladness. Uh huh. They had what? Joy and gladness. Read on. A feast. Stop. A what? A feast. All right. Here we go. I want y'all to look up the word feast. The word feast is in is is in the Strong's exhaustive concordance, and in the Brown's driver. Briggs, he brew, he bred. Forty nine sixty feast. Remember, I talked to y'all about words that is presented in the English, mm -hmm. but they have a total different meaning in the original. Oh yes. Let's go visit this, Mister. And I would have to default to uh, Brother Yashar's wife. Because she's from the land of Israel. And she speaks fluent Germanic Hebrew. Oh, she speaks fluent Hebrew. You said Germanic? Yeah, it's Germanic. Because the Ashkenazims that occupy that land. Kind of. Yeah, they come from Germanic. That's where you get a... <laughs> <laughs> you know, from. <laughs> now, think about this for a second, Teach. We're talking about self-autonomy, right? You know, Brother Ray, man, Aramaic. Yeah, Aramaic yeah. He speaks fluent Aramaic. Mm -hmm. You don't never hear that damn clearing of the throat and, 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 and gargling and all that other shit no. in Aramaic. You don't hear it at all. No. And that's a sister language to Hebrew. As a matter of fact, when Yahshua was here, he was speaking Aramaic. Mm -hmm. So what the hell is this shit they call it Hebrew today? 
You see what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. That's why I, I was concretely saying Germanic Hebrew. Hebrew yeah. Not, not native. Yes. Because if anything's going to be native, it will be close to Aramaic. Mm -hmm. That's concrete. Yes. So watch this. Let's go. Hey, it, says, it says, Mr. From, it came from Hebrew 4960 feast. From the original, from 8354, and it says, drink. So how you insert feast for drink? So it was says, and the Yehudim had joy, gladness, a drink, and a good day. Mm -hmm. Not only that, it says drink by implication, drinking. We can even go a little bit farther, be more concrete, a banquet. Mm -hmm. So the Jews or the Yehudim had joy, gladness, and a banquet, and a good Good day. Mm -hmm. And then it, it continues on. Drink, drink, feast. Feast is at the very dang end mm -hmm. of the definition. You know when you get a bottle of, of a, something or a can of good services when you go into a store. And it has all these ingredients on the back of it. Mm -hmm. The first ingredient is what the can is the most full of. Primary. Primary. Yeah. And by the time you get to the end, that is the least, least. of the ingredients. Yes. For those of you that are looking at it, check it out. There it is right there. Where is feast at? It's at the end. It starts off by drinking. So why would they insert feast in place of drinking. That's because Christianity want to make you think that it's all of that in a bag of chips. They want to make you think that they're more holier than thou and more holy than everybody else because they don't drink strong drink. Then they want to go ahead and condemn everybody else. But let truth rain down like a waterfall. Let straightway and the university come into session. Huh? And, and and all of you out there, let me tell y'all something. Listen. Don't tell me anything about Aramaic. Don't tell me nothing. I have a sister here on the land that speaks fluent Japanese. I have a sister here on the land that speaks fluent Spanish. I have a brother here on the land that speaks fluent Aramaic. Oh, yes. I forget the name of, uh, of the, I'm, I'm not going to give too much away, you know what I mean. Yes. I have a brother in the ministry that speaks fluent German. You people just need just just leave straightway alone. Just leave straightway alone. See, because I've got sense enough to consult people of the language. Yes. <laughs> I got sense enough to say, listen, I know what this is saying in English. And I'm seeing what they say that the concordance say, what said you in the original tongue? Mm -hmm. I got sense enough to put it together. In other words, straight, straight away, we got a melting pot of cultures. I don't, listen, listen. We, I don't want to, arrogant, I don't I want to, it can't be me because I don't have all the languages. But when you think you know something, you know, the Bible says even a fool is counted wise when he keeps his mouth shut. Truth. My question is, why would they insert in English the word feast when the more strength of it is drink? Mm -hmm. And the Yehudim had joy, gladness, and a drink, and a good day. And the Yehudim had joy, gladness, and a banquet, and a good day. 
the modern day word, and the Yehudim had joy, gladness, and a party. Party. It's more concrete than what they put here. Good celebration. Because in English, when you say feast, you think that that's a gathering together where everybody gets together and gores themselves in eating. And everybody gets fat like rhinos and elephants. We talking about culture here. Yes. That's what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Hebraic culture. Read on, teach. And many of the people of the land became what? Became Yehudim. Come on with it. For the fear of the Yehudim fell upon them. I bet you ain't gonna hear that in Christian. You see the reason why I used the words earlier, self-autonomy? Learn how to think independently. Mm -hmm. now, I, we did talk about that earlier, right? Oh, yes. You see the reason why it's very important to, to learn how to think. And discern mm -hmm. and not function after your programming. <laughs> so true. So true. So true. This is nerve wracking today, man. We've been there. We used to think the same way. Oh, yes. Teach one more. Deuteronomy 1426. Let me give a couple of shout outs over here, all right? Brother Dominique Barnett. Armor of Yacht, ESP 6111. $10 super chat. Thank you, my brother. Hallelujah. Jared Gordon, $10 super chat. On the road. Oh, we got that one already. All right. BNRP, $20 super chat. Damn, Pastor Dow, you speak truth. You got that right. I'm a man of truth. Nothing but truth. And, and you've got to be a brother of truth to be able to hear that truth. Yes. You've got to resonate, man. You've got to have the spirit of truth. Anonymous. Truth. <laughs> you got that right. $5. <laughs> loud and clear, Shepard. Lex McKnight, $100. Super chat. Thank you, my brother. Galon Parker, $20. Super chat. Praise to the Most High. And bless you, teacher, for your obedience, believe in Jesus Christ. That I will grow in the knowledge and the truth of his spirit. And where to lead my family out of California. Now that one got Woo! a revelation right there. That one got a good revelation. You know y'all dealing with them. Oh, yeah. Marcus Richards, $10 Super Chase says, bless you. Man, each and every last one of y'all that y'all has given the ears to hear. I know you. Uh, I, hey, we receive your blessings, but we say bless you for okay. loving the most high. That's what we say. No, we say no, bless, bless you. you. For loving the most high. Because that means a lot. A lot to us. Let's go over here. Cash out real quick. All right. Joseph E. Christie. Thank you. Excited to bear fruit of it. $20. Mm -hmm. Cash out. Danielle Henderson. Bless you, Pastor. $80 Super Chat. Bless you, Danielle. Thank you for your offering over on Super Chat. No, no, no. Let's cash out. Cash out. No, Kimin Silon. I, I don't. I hope I didn't get that wrong. I'm sorry if I butchered it up. On the SW tour, after selling it all, man, isn't that beautiful? Twenty five dollars on the straightway tour to selling it all, cash out. Paul, preach that true brother. Ten dollars, super chat. No, uh, cash out. Mark Torres. For Shabbat Shalom, Pastor. Thank you for speaking the truth. Listen, also $25. Thank you, my, my brother. Jackson Dawkins. Coming back with Zedekiah Double Tap. Shalom, $5. Cash out. Bless all y'all. Listen, y'all seen that YouTube put me in jail for a whole week. And I had people emailing me. Um, doing everything they could to try to find out where is Pastor Dow. We ain't heard from Pastor Dow in a week. How many times did I tell y'all? I'm on many different platforms. Mm -hmm. You need to go over there and sign up. Yes. Become a contributor, whatever you want to call it. Yes. Subscribe, member, or whatever. You need to follow. I, and 
They thought we were gone. And they, man, blew it up. Blew it up. Where's Pastor Dow? We ain't heard from him in a week. Yes. <laughs> See, it don't mean nothing until we gone. Yes. We try to tell y'all from the very beginning, but nobody wants to listen. Go over there and sign up on Rumble. Become a patron and support the ministry so that we can help support y'all during the feast days and all this old other stuff that we use okay. as well. Because I promise we live a quiet and peaceful life here straightway. You won't know until you get here. Many people are deceived by their own vain opinion. But when you come here, you'll see with your old eyes. Mm -hmm. Do what we tell you so that you don't be left out. Can you imagine what would life be like now since you have been introduced to straightway? What would life be like now if there was no straight way? Y'all think about that for a second. If the most high y'all didn't move on us early on in our life. What would it be like, teach? Mm -hmm. For you. Not the yes. world, but for you. For you. How would you hear Y'all need to start thinking about stuff like this. Hub City Songs 1095 Super Chat. Thank you, my brother Dian, Brian Turner. $10. Super Chat. Bless you, Pastor. With well, y'all's truth. Hallelujah. Flexing on us over there. That's what I'm talking about. That's why I keep telling y'all, telling y'all need to make a concerted effort and just don't assume anything. Can't y'all see that the Democrats are doing everything they can to destroy the freedom of speech? If you don't speak and do anything the way they say do it, they're trying to, I mean, they're trying to knock out the Constitution, period. When we own Patreon and Rumble, we are on other platforms to where we can have freedom of speech. Yes. We're not censored. YouTube put me in jail over I still can't. I even rebutted, still can't see it. And I can go out there and show you a hundred videos of somebody speaking about COVID-19. That went a hell of a lot more deeper than I did. They ain't banned. They got thousands of views. Mm -hmm. I have somebody of an alternative lifestyle that is assigned to my channel to watch every video. Hopefully, they will get fired. We got some connections too. Start raising sand. Come out with some lawsuits. Amanda Danielle, twenty dollars super chat. And thank you for opening your doors again. So excited to fellowship with the family again tomorrow. Forget the American dream. It's a Hebrew dream. Hallelujah. Well, I'm glad she's fellowship with the family. I don't even know what she's fellowshipping at, but glory to the king. At least she's in the fellowship. Amen. Teach, I don't, I really truly don't know what else to say, man. We got lines then coming. Let's get one more. First Samuel chapter 25. Did you finish that one? Uh, we was going to Deuteronomy 14.26. Oh, let's go there. Deuteronomy 14.26. We got to get that. Come on. And thou shalt bestow that money whatsoever thy soul lusteth that. Now this is people preparing to go to the feast, right? You dispose, you know, dispose, dispose, dispose your money to whatsoever your soul lusteth after. What is? What does it say? It said your soul. Your soul? Lusteth. Soul. What does it say? For oxen. For what? For oxen. So that means you get some, um, some good old Tomahawk steaks. Tomahawks, yes. Huh? Could be managier, Wagyu. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Black Angus, whatever. Angus. Some, yeah. Ah, yeah. Hey, it's peace, man. Come on, live it up. Read on. Yes. Or for sheep. Or for sheep. You remember last Peace Day, man? We had people up there cooking Wagyu and Tomahawk steaks on the yes. grill. Boy, the saints were feasting it up. Oh. Oh, yeah. They were taking it serious about whatsoever their soul lusted after. Man, if you, I remember I walked from the beginning of land. That was by Rob, your shot, right? Mm -hmm. 
He had a grill out there. Big old steaks. He said, this for you, Pastor. That was a steak so dang big, man. It was big, man. I had to come home and break it up in three pieces just in order for the size to enjoy because I couldn't have ate all that, man. We had people going around, man. There was so much food out here. Yes. <laughs> That's not including the food we were providing. Oh, man. You could have just walked around to any little, little, little tent area right there, man. They would have fed you. Yeah. These saints were ready. Yes, they were. I'm like, this yeah. is... The living Bible, the living word sitting right in front of us. Yes. Teach. It was good, too. Yes, it was. It was good. Yes, it was. It was God, mercy. Thank God for that. Most. <laughs> Woo! Boy, something you say you know how to grill. Yes. Man, can they throw down. They can throw down. Read on. Or for wine. Wait, 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 wait. Uh-oh. Why? Why? So we could take the money and change it in. We can, whatever our soul loves that, we get some steak, but we could also get some wine. Why is it? Yeah, bring some yeah. man of oh, yeah. or some Morgan it's David written. here. Yeah. Read on. Or, hold your seats now. Mm -mm. For strong drink. That's sacrilegious, man. I'm done. Uh oh. See, y'all got, I told you, this Bible <laughs> going to hurt you. You mean to tell me that the Most High y'all said we can steak, wine, yeah. and strong drink? Strong drink. If you want it. Yes. Did not Jesus get accused of being a wine bibber? Wine bibber, oh yes. And a friend of publicans, and sinners. harlots, yeah. and sinners. Yes. Jesus was a friend of, look at this. Let me see. Jesus was a, a drunk. That's what they accused him of. Jesus... Yahshua was a friend of whores. Mm -hmm. Jesus was a friend of publicans. I mean. Boy, that goes against religion today, don't it? Woo. So when he said, go to you scribe and Pharisees, you hypocrites. Mm -hmm. When he says, you children of the kingdom are going to be thrust out in the outer darkness when there's going to be weeping and gnashing of teeth. But these people that don't even have nothing to do with it that receive him, they're going in. They're going in before them. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. I'm telling you, it's going to hurt some folks. You better get rid of your false religion and philosophy. You better get rid of it. Come on, teach. Or for whatsoever thy soul desires. Whatsoever your soul desires. Come on. And thou shalt eat therefore before Yahweh thy Elohim. Thou shalt rejoice. You shall do what? Rejoice. Man, when you throw that thing T-bone steak up in there, rejoice. When you lift up this cup, rejoice. Rejoice. When you got that wine, rejoice. Rejoice. Amanda Daniel, $10 super chat. She says, lots of lab. I'm Michael's boy, your sister. Oh, okay. I get the privilege to enjoy Sabbath with you and the Tennessee Saints for the past four months. Now we just move closer to, move closer, bless you, Pastor. All right, bless you, sister. Glory to the oh, King. So oh. now you shall do what? Rejoice. Rejoice. <laughs> Rejoice. <laughs> and sister, you can make a comment or something like that and stuff, but man, don't keep having to keep sending money like that. I mean, dang, I'd rather for you just walk up to it and hand it to us. You know what I mean? Glory to the king, but damn. So you get to rejoice. Can you believe it? Can you believe it, teach? Oh, Let me check some cash app over here real quick. All right. Let me see. Let me check, check cash app. Oh, cash app real quick. Crypto Joe. Bless you, Pastor and Saints of the Most High. $100 cash out. Bless you, Crypto Joe. Lucretia Harper. Thank you, Pastor Dow, for leading me in my home. $10 cash out. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you for listening. Larry L. Uh, bless you, Shepherd, Teacher. 
from Strayway, Ohio. $35 cash out. Boy, it's real. I do appreciate it. Thank y'all. Promise one thing. We're going to be using this for the work of the ministry. That's just the truth. Amen. Hallelujah. Boy, I tell you. I teach. Don't you wish all men could be saved? Oh, yeah. Everybody that is here. That's most highs. I believe lines did yeah. coming up here in a minute. I know that we have not so much as taken a phone call. Well, how long has it been since we take a phone call? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to probably try probably try next blog talk uh, to make the second hour we're going to open up the phone lines. Alright, so y'all make sure y'all remind me of that, okay? Brother Jesse, $100 cash out. Bless you, Pastor, and all the straight way. Can you give us advice about fasting and preparing for the Feast of uh, preparing for Passover feast. Well, sure you can, man. I, I I can. I can give you some blessings on that, man. Hallelujah. All right. Yeah, I, I appreciate that, but man, bless your heart. I I, I can I get it that people want to give, but it's a hell of a lot better just walk up to it and hand it to it and give it to me than to give thirty uh, percent to YouTube if you so choose. Hallelujah, glory to the king. I'm glad that y'all's dealing with her. She's in the faith. I'm glad that people can be saved. What do you oh, think? Yes, definitely, yes. We're going to have a full house tomorrow. I guarantee we'll have a full yeah. house. We'll probably about 200 people 200 tomorrow. Plus, 200 <laughs> plus, easy. Yes. Um. What did, what did he say? Like many feasts. <laughs> oh, Passover right there. Bro, Steve is putting up where y'all can get the Holy Days calendar, man. They just, they just, I can't say enough about that. Fasting, um, it, it's always good for the soul, man. It really is. I know that many of you, y'all don't see some of us old hats are straightway doing a hell of a lot of deliverance, but we still do deliverance, just not like we used to, yes. because we've done so damn much. Oh, mercy, yes. I mean, let me give you an example. I'm going to use myself, Elder Doug, and Teacher Shane. Mother Carol, Mother Jennifer, like that. Okay, let's just use them, all right? They've been around a long-ass time. All of us have, right? Yes. You wasn't here when we had all these damn marathon deliverances, these deliverances cast. Now, we had some humdingers. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. When you see us, you can tell there's something different about us. There's a temperance. There's a maturity. But there's a character and a nature about us that's just different than everybody else. We done been through the ringer. There are people our age, they still have cardinal issues. They can't, they have no self-control. They can't control their mouth. They can't control their spirit. Um, they easily angered and upset. They, they, they scream, holler, shout, cuss out shit and do all that. Else. They do stuff like this. No self-control whatsoever at all. Them people need deliverance, mm -hmm. but they won't get it because they have a philosophy and perspective about their ass and they damn high off their ass self. They, they think they have arrived. That's because when we were getting deliverance, they were just playing around. Now they think they're on the same level that we are and they have no temperance, mm -hmm. no self-control. Is that not part of the fruit of the spirit? Come on, yes it is. They ain't got a lick of it. Not a lick of it. They old as shit too and they ain't got a lick of it. Oh, we back over here cash up just for a second, man. Everybody know I'm getting off here. Melody Hazel, $50 cash up. Bless you. Thank you, sister. Antonio Robinson, uh, for the word, Jasmine Robinson, $20 cash up. Bless you, all of y'all. Teresa Rogers, YouTube Nicole Tyler, uh, took Vax blood transplant. Uh, ten dollars. I don't know what that means. What does that mean, Teach? Mm. You know what that means? Uh, that's very vague. I don't know what that is. All right. Hallelujah. Well, anyway, I believe the Lions Den is coming up here in about a minute. Uh, oh yeah, we got homemade wine. We got homemade wine too. 
Sure do. Got all kinds of things to make homemade wine. Do you got some? If you got some, uh, Victor V, uh, let's see what you got. Bring it on over here. Because I would hate for you to get on here and make a statement like homemade wine drink from your own sister. And, and you make a comment and statement like that when you have never, ever produced any. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't it be a classic hypocrite if you don't? Yes, sir. So, Victor V, give us your address where you at. And let us know if you're coming to the feast because we would love to see if you have some of that homemade wine that yeah. you're boasting about. Amen. Toda. Come on, man. Come. <laughs> we want to see it. Yes. Well, anyway, we've had a wonderful time here tonight. What do you think, Teach? We covered a little bit, right? Yeah. Expose a little bit of false doctors yes. here. And got things good. Y'all need to go and check out our sister sisters broadcast with Sister Ashley and Mother Jennifer. They doing a real good job for y'all sisters over there. The teachers and the elders on first day. Um, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. And Eric Robinson, teacher Eric Ross, he probably done upload another video yeah, by yeah. now. Yes. Puts out a damn good teaching every week. Uh, Brother Ugly puts out the news yes, he does. every week. So that, uh, this week's news will be kind of delayed because in his area, the internet's down. So For real? Yeah, his internet's down, so he will have it up before long. No telling what they in the world they had to do up there with, with, with um, Canada something else, man. Yeah, Canada just... Canada just down. Down, anyway, I'm going to reserve... Dang crown. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to reserve my comment because I got a lot I could say about that, man. Yeah. I got a hell of a lot I can say about that. Well, hallelujah. Hey, y'all be encouraged. We're going to see y'all tomorrow morning. Shabbat service, right? 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. Well, I got one more. I'll give this one more out here. Shout out here, and we'll go ahead and move on here because we got to get to the lines then, okay? Uh, where we at? We got cash up here. Josh Westmoreland. Y'all is good. Shabbat shalom to you, family. $15. Cash. App. That's Josh. Josh, we get some all praises and hands too. Adrian Chapel for blessing pastor. Ten dollars. Thank you, my brother. Cash out. Glory to the King. I'm so glad, man. We got people over here that appreciate the labor of love. Yes. That they're not just sitting over here feasting off the table and stuff and not having no thanksgiving for the most high God. You know what I mean? Hallelujah. Well, hey Israel, I love you all. Teacher Shane. Signing off here. Lines then will be on YouTube, Brother Daniel Mirror, and Facebook. Um, Y'all go check out Indy, Brother Daniel, Brother Rob Mathis, uh, Brother Samuel, Brother Lee, Four Horsemen. The original up there, Mayor Frogman up there, and the Hulk up there with him and stuff. And uh, Brother Dre, uh, Dre and Trey, man, faithful brethren. All the beautiful Israelite sisters up there. Glory to the king. Feast day calendar. Let's remember, the, the link is in there. It's in there. Y'all go check it out and get it. It's the best feast day calendar I've ever seen. Every year, I don't know how Brother Steve and Sister Wendy, I don't know how they do it every year. Just packed with information. And they keep coming up with more and more and more every year. They grow in grace and knowledge. They, they do, man. I love them so much. Brother Steve... Sister Wendy, man, I love y'all. I love y'all so much, and I miss y'all so much. I truly do. I, I can't believe we done went a year getting ready to almost go on. This to be the second year coming up, because yes, we, didn't, is, we yeah. didn't get to see them last year. It's right. been another whole year, man. This is BS, man. All right. Anyway, hey, I bless y'all in the sweet presence of strong, victorious, and mighty overcoming name. I'll soon come king. Y'all shoot home shit. Um, y'all pray. For straightway, pray for Pastor Dial all the leadership. Um, we'll keep y'all in our prayers. Love y'all. See y'all tomorrow morning. Be the Father's will. Uh, straightway.com. Or the Pastor Dial channel. Same station, same channel. Shabbat Shalom. Teachers coming over here to knock this thing out. King is coming.
Look at him looking. 